I draw caricatures at live events and in this video I'm going to show you my method for drawing a live caricature but I'm going to do it from a photo so that you can follow along okay this is a quick one of Elizabeth Taylor so I'm just drawing quickly the head shape narrow chin wide forehead a very tall hair shape all right that's my sketch here we go. Now this eye is partially covered up with the hair and I can try to get that in there. of under eyelashes. Highlight pupil. Part <clears throat> part of the eyebrow. <clears throat> now I'll finish the rest of that whenever I start drawing the hair. I'm going to just suggest the bridge of the nose. Then we're going to get the eye on the other side. I'm just drawing it in as I see it. Little highlight there, pupil. I'm just kind of drawing this in at a fairly quick speed. <clears throat> if I was doing a drawing as a like a commission drawing or something I was drawing for fun, a studio drawing, so to speak, I would spend a long time making it perfect. But when I'm at an event, I give myself four minutes or less. I'd love to get it done in three minutes and 45 seconds that way I can get a lot of people at the event drawn so if I'm drawing in the studios I'm using more detailed methods than what I'm doing right now what I'm doing right now I consider a quick sketch okay now we're gonna draw the lips in there they are very unique looking Top lip is a very defined shape like that, sort of an M shape. The bottom lip is much bigger than the top lip and rounded. I can exaggerate that a little bit. You'll notice how I started off the corner thin, got thick, and then thinned out again. There's a tiny wrinkle where the chin touches the lips, and then we switch to our big marker. I draw the chin to anchor myself so that I don't <clears throat> draw too far. Because sometimes if I just draw it and then add the chin, what will happen is I'm trying to do a smooth fluid motion and then I accidentally draw the chin way down here. So I just anchor it by drawing that first.
Okay, now we got the forehead, which is kind of wide, and then we got some curls for the hair. <coughs> so she has like a swoop and some curls. So let's see if we can do it in a fluid motion without hesitating too much. That's not exactly what's in the photo, but I kind of messed up, but oh well. This is the hair that's beneath that swooping curl. Yeah, I messed this up pretty bad, but maybe I can fix it or it won't be noticeable. And that's another thing about drawing. Like if I draw a curve that messes up, I'm gonna remember what I didn't like about it and I'm going to do it different the next time. Okay. It's her neckline and then the shadows on this side. I'm gonna draw that. Draw our dress line. That might be out of the camera a little bit, but I'm not gonna spend too much time on her shoulders. <clears throat> collarbone, collarbone. Okay, now let's do the top part of the hair. I'm trying to do, like I said, bold, without much hesitation, curves. some of the inside curves. I've got the outline. I'm not sure how to do these either, so I'm just sort of making this up as I go. If I'm making it up, I just want it to look cool. way to keep hair looking clean and cool or stylish is to not do a bunch of crisscrossing lines like this in the hair. That would look messy and I do that by accident sometimes but if I don't allow these lines to crisscross then it's going to look more clean. Okay and that's this one. That's more like a stylized sketched rather than a caricature but I kind of like it what do you think <laughs>